the rapier. Um, in the normal game, you don't want to get a rapier if you're ahead. You want to get a rapier if you're if you lost the game. If you're at a high ground defense, you've lost two ra ra racks, two sets of racks, and you know you 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 know for a fact that okay, we we lost this game, right? There's no way we're winning. Then you pick a rapier and you high ground defense. You do a high ground defense, and maybe you can get kills because even if you do lose a rape here, it doesn't matter. You've already lost the game. You know you've lost the game, so it's fine. Uh, but definitely, definitely not when you're ahead or when it's a so, sort of even game. Not on Sven. On a hero like um, Ember Spirit, that's probably the only one I, I'll say that, yeah, okay, if you've got a uh lincoln's or a, a manta or something like that one defensive item you can go right here and play extremely safe you're just sitting behind your team and throwing out slides of fists but not on sven who kind of after the team initiates he does have to go in and chop down people so he is susceptible to dying secondly you use your stun here now that it's good that you got win on her to a very low hp and she didn't have she doesn't have any uh, region, but yeah. but in this bracket I don't know let's let's see if you actually manage to if um, actually let's let's see this mid match up a little bit because right now what Heidi should be doing is he should be standing here and slapping her as soon as she comes close or even throwing out an avalanche and like harassing her as much as possible she has absolutely no region right now she's just what like seventy five health from this very far but That's he, what I expected, he's not. But yeah, he's not taking advantage of that. He doesn't know to take advantage of that. So what you ended up doing was you just used uh, your stun for uh, excellent harassment. Excellent harassment, but it's not going to achieve anything. It's not really going to give Tiny any advantage, you know? And it's just the issue with this bracket. If it was a slightly higher bracket, if it was like upper 3k, 4k, you would have won that mid match of 4 Tiny right there. That's what I said, and I, and yeah. I play yeah, I play my games a lot like a three or four K player, even though I make mistakes that make me like a low two K. So it kind of averages out, you know what I mean? But, you you have to understand what kind of people like you have to know what kind of people you're playing with. You said it, there's a disparity between daytime and nighttime. You have to know what the disparity is. You know what's the play style in the daytime? What's the play style in the nighttime? And you have to accommodate. You have to adapt to that because if you want to gain MMR, that's the only way you can do that. Not by playing better. Uh, like playing at a 5k level, but by by like adapting, uh, adapting to that <laughs> playstyle exactly. I laugh um, because Marie just got done using that word like 10 minutes ago. Like you need okay. to adapt. You know, um, she's actually CM in this game. Yeah, she's invis right now. It, I'm invis. not invis. I don't know what happened to that. <laughs> yeah, it's the replay. It's, it's uh, just replay glitch. It's yeah. not. It's not his fault. Um, Always. Oh, you could have uh, if it was obviously if it was a. Um, Solo, solo. This guy, what's it called, Magnus? You could have used mm -hmm. that extra stun mana to to uh, you know early get some early harass on the solo off, and obviously it's a different situation. And you managed to get like a good good stun off on him anyway. So, but now you have no mana, and that's you could have had mm -hmm. one extra. Well, soon you would have been able to have one extra stun, but now you're not going to have an extra stun for a very very long time, probably for another two minutes or so. Because you you know you've got a horrible horrible mana mana region. Uh, oh wait, CM is gonna start giving you some. So good last hitting. You you clearly like even without uh, coiling blade, you're getting some good last hits in. Don't miss this one. Don't miss this one. Don't miss this one. Good. Right. So I'm I'm gonna start getting into a little bit nitty gritty right now. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, that's good. Because you know Especially the general. You know the general concepts now, so let's start doing a little bit of a nitty gritty. First With off, it. you're in your uh, creep equilibrium is perfect. It's perfect where it needs to be. You know, this is the line for the tower aggro, uh, for the tower um, attack range, and you just want to keep keep the creeps around here so you can actually control them. They don't get under the tower. But you use your war cry here, which gives all of your creeps extra, right. um, what's it called, armor. And what, what that's going to do is it's going to push out the lane a little bit. Uh, here, right here, I know CM was going close by, but you need to take this, like, if the creep is almost dying, then you need to take the creep and then go on the enemy hero. Also, 
another thing is that when you do want to go on this Magnus, what you should do is you click on the ground close to him, not on the guy. You click on the ground close to him so that you don't actually aggro any of the creeps. Uh, because right now you, you're going to start taking a lot of damage from the creeps. So you're at 310 and let's see, the, so before Magnus hits you, you took about a solid like 75, 80 damage just from, from creeps, yeah. which did not need to happen. Oh, and I'm not um, actively using my so, tangos at the, at the meantime. Yeah, you should. Right, right now, uh, even actually before this happens, you should have salved up fully before going in. Like, that's no. death. You didn't need to... It, the, the guy is full health, right? All you really need to do is maybe see him, just needs to right kick him so his, uh, his clarity is off. But that's it. Nothing else needs to happen. You don't need to go on this guy because th there's a tank standing right between you guys. So... If you even get the kill on him, you don't even get the kill on him, and you die. So as I said, your main role is to farm and not die. And you just died, not for farm, but to get a, a iffy kill. Mm -hmm. So that was definitely a big mistake on your part. Okay. Try to get the harass between, uh, between CS without actually aggroing creeps. Yeah. And I do normally click on the ground, but sometimes I'll forget in the heat of the moment. Um, like when I go to advance past the creep wave, I usually do click on the wave. Like I'm like really uh, anal about it when I play with people uh, and they're in my lane. Aren't I, Marie? <laughs> yeah. I tend to be. I don't think I've... Anyway, yeah, those are all good. I need to pay more attention to it, though. I clearly took a lot of damage. Right here as well, you missed the CS just to... You know, try yeah. to save your CM. CM's job is to make sure she gives you the most amount of farm. Not not you leave farm to save her. So... But this is kind of an easy lane for you. Uh, I think what CM could have been doing here is maybe uh, going to the jungle, staying in the jungle like this camp and this camp a little bit more so that she does give you all the XP that you possibly can get, like free XP. And she also gets like the large ca large creep here, and then the small creep, and then gets some some XP and farm as well. And maybe like right now, uh, CM can pull pull this cab and maybe pull through or stack and pull. Uh, because what what the support is supposed to be doing is giving the, you uh, after she's uh, giving you a free lane, or if it is already a free lane, then her job is to or his job is to get give you as much XP, free XP, solo XP as possible, and obviously try to find as much XP as possible as well. You know, okay. you guys have seen Angelo Bangelo's video. Yes. yes. That's pretty On much what you have to do. Yeah, that's pretty much what you have to do. Like, Supports uh, and, generally don't play that way at this bracket, but... Um, I know, I know, but... When they do, it's like sometimes a little magical. It's like basically yeah. someone learning support, like, yeah. like spending a lot of time on it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, most of the time in this bracket, it's like everybody wants to, you know, needs, you know, they need to be in the lane unless, you know. Again, you skilled up this a bit too early. Just a bit too early. Okay. Um, you guys do have a good creep equilibrium going. You have a CM in your lane. Um, you can, if CM goes to the jungle a little bit more, you can actually easily deny them XP, a lot of XP. You can actually out level them quite quickly. Both well, of How is that again? I'm sorry. If CM goes to the jungle, then you get the solo lane XP, right? Yeah. So let's say you're gaining uh, twice as many levels as they are, right? And CM is gaining half as many levels as you are, so almost the same amount of levels as they are, if she jungles. But then oh, if she starts, sense. yeah, if she starts pulling, so so at, at any point, let's say these guys are both level 2, you'll be level 4, but CM will also be level 2. Um, but... Uh, if she's also denying the creeps, like a full creep wave, then what's going to happen is they're actually going to get half of that, l half of those levels as well. So yeah. they'll, when they're actually level 2, you'll be level like 5 or 6, and CM is going to be level 4. You know what I mean? This is how, this is how you, you win uh, in the off lane. Like, it, it, this is how you win in the carry lane, like how you destroy off laners. Especially a dual offlane, you can so easily punish this dual offlane. Stun, 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 oh, okay. I, I panicked a tiny bit there. Just a little bit of a panic, there. yeah. yeah. Trouble brewing at Radiant's bottom. Well, 
Yeah, I think I made things a little more complicated by getting that Helm of Iron Will while I was chasing him, and, uh, you know, I don't know. It's, probably it's a good fine, thing you've, got got a, you've got very good CS going, that's the main thing. Yeah, you died one time, but your CS is fine right now. You know, another thing is, though, in defensive supports in this bracket, I think, if you could correct me, Marie, that a lot of carries are just retarded, and if you leave them in lane, they'll just feed. Yeah. So, yeah. I think... Yeah, how, how do you know if you can leave your carry... Uh, Sven, you can always leave. Sven does not worry uh, at all. Sven can quite freely, like, solo lane any of these heroes. Yeah. I guess because it was clean as well. If and it's not, if it's not, if it's not somebody you know, like, uh, if you're not playing with Jeremy, if it's somebody else, then it doesn't matter if it's a Sven or not, you can't leave them in lane. <laughs> <laughs> Well, arguably she can't leave me in lane either, but... I think she know, can, like, especially... I, 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 we, well, we, we probably need to practice it, though, because it's the way, you know, you kind of... Because be the way you play CM um, is... CM is not a lane support. CM is a jungler who has some presence in lane. You mean, so, like, she can come in and get some really good harassment and possibly uh, assist yeah, in the like, kill if she's yeah, playing with, like, Sven or Jug or... If you watch most CMs, what they'll do is... Uh, they'll well. First of all, they'll max arcane aura, but they'll stay in the jungle for about ninety percent of the time, ninety-five percent of the time of the laning phase. And just do what? Yeah. Like stacking and frostbiting. No, no, creeps? just frostbiting creeps and farming the creeps, and then going around roaming. It's a roaming jungling hero, CM, okay. because you get the most out of your most out of uh, the jungle and most of out of your abilities that way. I took a lot of damage from creeps here. Yeah, you like you. You need to know if you can kill the person or not, and obviously that comes from experience. You knew you can't get the kill, but you were able to harass him out of the lane. Right now, what you what you achieved is you made him leave the lane. Now, what you should be doing is going like CM should be jungling because obviously she doesn't need to help you at all. Even it it, it doesn't matter who you are, even if you're a low level player, uh, because there's no off laner right now. CM can actually do whatever she wants. Go go get some XP from somewhere else. And then you can farm the jungle, maybe push out this wave, and then start doing the jungle. Like, you take full advantage of the enemy not being there. And um, okay. again, you use your ult too, too soon, and you haven't dominated a creep. This is you know, a very I, good... I told Marie that when, we, that when I were to watch this video, or if I had my coach with me, because she had referred to, like, well, you know, ask your coach about this, because there were some fights. I want you to take note of it, because... I think I was wrong. I was right to freaking, you know, Chinese farm, as I put it, but I was wrong to use my ult like I did a bunch of times and not, like, join a fight that was nearby. Like, I found myself too not healthy enough to join the fights that like, were, like, right um, now, ideal to join. Right now, using but, your ult isn't so bad. Uh, I, it, It's actually okay. I might have used my ult at this point, but I want to, like, encourage you not to use it. Uh, okay. The reasons, couple of reasons why is because first of all, it's a lot of it's uh, it's a third of your mana pool, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want to be using a third of your mana pool at this point. At eight minutes in, you're not going to need your god strength at all uh, against your enemies or whatever. You're not going to fight. You're definitely not going to fight. One hundred percent. Even if there's a fight happening, you need to run away from the fight. You need to use uh, war cry and run away from that fight. So mm -hmm. there's no point in putting a point in god strength even at this point. So you. Like, you, you got okay. very good XP. Right now, at 8 minutes in, you're level 6, it's nice. You don't need Ghost Strength. You don't need Ghost Strength till, you know, you've got Helm of Iron, uh, Helm of Dominator, Treads, and you've got, like, 3 stacks. If, you, if you've got 2 or th two three stacks even going, then you can consider, okay, I just leveled up. I'm not going to level up for another 2 minutes. I might have 4 stacks by then. I might need Ghost Strength, so I'll just put a safety level in right now. In case I die and I don't get that level up, and I'm, you know, okay. gonna lose some stack. So, you know, I was... um, Sorry, yeah, go ahead. yeah, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, and this is right about the point where I remember saying on the mic to Marie, I was like, we've pretty much won this lane because yeah. of their heroes against ours, unless they have their, well, unless they bring their friends. Um, so we went kind of went back to the whole pulling and pushing and pulling and pushing thing. I think. Yeah. I don't know if that was correct. Uh, but the only thing is, like, is you you got your uh, helm at n uh, eight minute n eight minute ten seconds, and you still have not dominated a creep, even though you went to this jungle and instead of dominating one of those creeps, you used ult to farm. Uh, one second, I'll be right back. Where were we? Um, 
The HOD in the 8 minute 10. Yeah, yeah, so let's see when you dominate the creep. <laughs> I was thinking about it off and on about every 30 seconds, I think, and just thinking I didn't want to steal something in front of them. I, I'm so stuck on the mindset of getting a ranged uh, um, lane creep. You don't need I think a range I actually range. get a centaur here in a moment, like right now. Yeah, centaur yes. is fine. Like, if you, if you get a ranged really. creep, if you get a ranged creep, excellent. If you don't, too bad. No, it doesn't matter. I'll run away. Should I have used my stun there? I was actually... He already That's used fine. his stun, so he didn't really serve a threat, did he? Yeah, I mean, what you could have... Uh, stun was probably still important. Why are you stacking this count? Because I wouldn't have been able to make it in time to the Ancients. I do that sometimes. Okay. Like, my creep that's was fine. not going to make it there for the next one. No, that's fine. That's smart. Um, okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. Sometimes I do it for, remember to do that. Sometimes. I mean, I shouldn't probably take away from what I'm doing on my hero right. about that. but It's 10 minutes in and you've got 52 CS. You had a contested lane somewhat, but you did miss a lot of creeps. So I yeah. think for right now, uh, I think it's a very good... Um, score, but well, I think you could improve that definitely. I think this lane you could have had at least 60 CS for sure. Not from the I lane. Argue. I would not argue more than that actually, right? Well, I mean, like not, essentially, even. not essentially from the lane. Like when they were both full health and they were both here in your face, you could just tell CM to stand here, just take the lane XP. If you can get some farm, go ahead, good for you. But you should have, by the time you had Helm, or or maybe huh. instead of helm get the mask of uh, morbid mask and go to the small camp get those farm get that farm get this farm and then come back to lane because you definitely get more farm and mo more CS than just there standing there being contested and like, getting harassed by those two so you really want to like make those decisions on whether or not it's beneficial to get that 200 CS from lane or 200 CS sorry 200 gold from lane or 200 gold from jungle. Like, why are you here right now? You should not be here. What you're doing, this yeah. is not what you should be doing. Remember when I said in game, Marie, I should not be here. I need to leave. I need to farm. Yeah, you should. To, to I'm be very trying to listen to this guy, but, but. So right here, you've got you've got two people. So you got three. You got four people on your team. Okay, your whole team is top. <laughs> your whole team is top. You should not be here. You should TP mid. Immediately, you've got a TP. You TP oh, mid. I didn't even think of that. I just thought like retract back into the jungle and yeah, and just work my just, way to like, the right. Yeah, jungle would have been fine, but there's already like a huge, almost a double wave pushing in mid. Just take this double wave, TP in, take the double wave, and yeah. go to this, go to this camp, or, or um, yeah, go to this camp then, big camp. But what you're doing right now, uh, that's wasting uh, opportunity. That's a huge opportunity cost, and if you die, it's gonna be so huge. Yeah. And you know um, what? I'm going to say now, um, Marie, just in case you might think this, uh, I did not pull you into this Skype to like say, okay, no, I was right or it's, shit. It's, it's okay. I just thought it would be fun. But it is kind of like giving each other like as a support and carry that play together no, it's, a perspective. It's, 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 it's pretty, important pretty cool. for a carry. It's extremely important for a carry to know how to play support and know how to play support as good as you play carry because you cannot learn to carry you act absolutely cannot learn to carry if you don't <laughs> play support and if you don't know how to play support and same exact same goes the other way around if you do not play carry you can't support you can't be a good support if you don't play carry and or you can't the fact that marie whatever. is a support player and she's uh, listening in to what a carry should be doing it only helps her on how to play carry more, uh, sorry, play support more effectively because she knows now what the carry is supposed to be doing. So if she knows what a carry is supposed to be doing, she can enable that carry to do what. She, oh, okay, that's a bad pull. She can Wait. enable that carry to do what he's supposed to be doing. I accidentally I, got too close with my melee creep, trying to get it like readily yeah, that's, available, and it's, it's I, I did fine. that like three times. I never use a melee creep, but I was trying to listen to you and just like, if I can't. Uh, readily get a range creep in lane without the enemy seeing me do it because it kind of goes, yeah. oh, we need to go stop him from doing the ancients, block it with a ward, whatever. So like, I that was the first time ever probably. I, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna listen to him get a get the most nearby creep in the jungle and just go yeah. with it. No, that's fine. And what you're doing right now, this is what so you should be doing. Oh god, again, I'll don't don't use ult. Definitely don't use ult <laughs> right now. <laughs> See. <laughs> I, I just felt like, okay, you know, like, sometimes I get a little panicky in the game. Not panicked, like, truly, at this stage, but, like, well, 
anxious, and I'm like, okay, yeah. I, oh my god, I gotta farm faster. I gotta, I'm falling behind, or I might no, not no, get no. ahead. When, like, when you, know. you farm, when you farm faster, always think about the opportunity cost. Like, okay, you could have actually gone mid and taken this farm, and this time that you would cut increase. Um, and did you miss the snack as well? Um, I hit, cut the wrong tree on just on accident because my camera was a little down and I hit the one in front of it. Watch, I, I could have right, stacked that. So, I think yeah. I'd already killed it, but maybe not, and I could have stacked it. Yeah, you you missed the stack. So what you should be doing when you're playing with Marie is you should give control of your um, creep to her, and she can stack for you. <laughs> Marie, you get a new job. Trouble. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely important to be stacking this because every minute. Uh, every uh, stack is about 250 to 300 gold. That's a huge amount of gold. And yeah. um, not only that, but it's also uh, XP. And when uh, when you're ready to take it, always tell your support, who's extremely underleveled, to come stand next to you so that she can get uh, the XP. You don't <clears throat> need the XP. She needs the XP. Um, I'd like to try to uh, make a statement or explain okay. something. And it might thing. be a question at the same time. I don't yeah. know. But... So it's like, you already understand because of the way I've told you, and you already know from you know playing Dota for a long time, but that like this two to three k bracket or less than that, um, you know, Marie's what like at two point nine or something. I'm like I was two point nine. I fell back to like two point five. Um, but in our bracket and where we are right now, uh, they don't really. Everybody does just throw bodies at each other and fight as yeah. much as possible, and they understand that, and you know. That's what I've had a problem with in this bracket because I tend to do a lot of research and, and get coachings and stuff like that. And so basically, like, on the other hand, I don't think it's accepted very often that a carry, if they know how, see, that's the problem. In this bracket, a lot of carries do not farm very efficiently. Yeah. It's very far Definitely. and few in between. So when their carry is farming, they get stressed out. But yeah. see, now I'm learning to farm really fast. They didn't realize that when I got those three big items, like uh, Helmadom, S&Y, Blink, yeah. or whatever I ended up getting, that I could just come in, if I play well and position well in a fight, that I just blow up everybody. Yeah. Now, like, because I look at it, fights, look, but... look at it this way. Right now, Tiny's got five kills, one death. You've got zero kills, one death. You're almost the same net worth. Right. Like, what and is that? I, I like almost. Carry and has to have gold. They gotta have items. Right? Yeah, I mean, exactly. Like, killing slums. is killing is three creeps, four creeps worth of gold. Yeah, it's XP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you make sure that the enemy person that you killed isn't farming in that time. But how much time did you devote of yours to that kill? Did you yeah. set it up yourself or did your support set it up for you? If you set it up yourself, you probably uh, gave way too much of your time. Like, on a hero like Sven, if you're a hero like somebody is like a Spectre, yeah, 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 kills are definitely more important because you're not farming that fast, that efficiently. Uh, but Sven farms so fast, so quickly that uh, you really need to consider going to those kills. Um, and here, right here, you have this camp. And pro after you took, you, you decided, so this is a ki kind of a... I'm going to start saying these are big mistakes because okay, now yeah, you are yeah. you are getting to that point where these are big mistakes. You didn't stack the camp. That was a big mistake. You should have taken this camp first. Always try to go in a smooth line as quickly as possible. You should have taken this camp first, then this camp, then this camp, then this camp, then this camp, and then came here if the lane was free and if there was um, farm here. But you take this camp and then you take this camp. This is a medium camp. This is a medium camp. So you take two medium camps, completely ignore the large camp, and then you actually TP here. So that was definitely a waste of TP because your creeps are not underneath your tower. If the creeps are be dying here, they're not dying that fast. It's faster for you to farm these camps and then get here. If it's under the tower, then they're dying fast. Then you want to get to the tower. But you come here, TP here, which doesn't actually save you that much amount of time. And then there's two people here, so you definitely can't actually go yeah. here. I remember so thinking you, like, oh, God, a yeah. big waste of time. Yeah, that's a big waste of time and a waste of TP and a waste of gold. So, yeah. And after, if you'd walked up here uh, and then walked here, then you would have seen that, okay, Razor is here. Maybe you can't even go here. He's TPing out. Okay, I'll take the small cam and I'll go here. The, even now, you should have taken the small cam first. Also, I think another reason why... And you missed so the stack as well. So that's the big thing, like... like 
you know, if I am farming efficiently, which I probably am farming just as well or better than a lot of carries at this level, if I'm not no, fighting. No, you're already um, farming better than most carries at this level. And the fact that you're Sven means you're already farming, even if you farm just right. as, as good as the enemy carry, you're, you know, farming better. Right, but, you know, and it's like, so yeah, over between right now and about 30 minutes, no, more like 23, 25 minutes is when Tiny and other people, but mostly Tiny, were getting, like, kind of bothered or upset with me for not joining the fight. So I think him. you're going to see a couple where Mute if him. I had saved my mana, if I had saved my ult, it yeah. was close enough nearby, and I could have anticipated like just wiping out a couple people, yeah. and I just wasn't able to. I was just like, I have no man, I have no ult. I'm sorry, I'm gonna farm. Yeah, you know, like I mean, let's let's get to that point and see what happens. But right now, you are again missing. You missed this range creep, fifty gold, lots of XP, and then you missed the card as well. Big, big, big loss, yeah. right? Yep. Um, let's see if you use your mana boots before you ult. You ulted here now. Oh shit. Like, I try to switch for the, um, I always switch for the Warcry, but I sometimes forget the ult. I mean, I, I usually switch for the Warcry. I, I think, I th well, that's one issue that you didn't actually switch to int threads to use uh, ult and Warcry. Okay. And secondly, we have already discussed that you do not want to use ult for farming. Definitely, okay. Unless, obviously, it's uh, Ancients. You do not want to, or, or Roshan, you do not want to use ult for, for these creeps. But this was, a, this was an okay decision. And this would have been something I would have done, but the only thing different I would have done is I would have picked this tower first. And I would have seen it's actually really low. And then I still would have ultied right here. So this ulti was the right right action, but not for the right reasons that you used. Because the tower was so low, you would definitely had this tower kill. So I would have ultied here, I would have taken that uh, creep wave and immediately came here, war cry, came here, take this tower. And you had this hesitation. This Can I, small... Um... Can I ask yeah. you something though? Like, if I had known that tower was that low, and I clearly didn't, would I have maybe even alted right when I came in and cleared that range creep and catapult it would quicker? Still, yeah, and then, what you... and then war cried out in front of the waves so that the creeps wouldn't even hit mine. Clear that wave and then hit the tower. That would have been perfect if I'd used my entreds, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, what you did just now is fine as well. It, the only issue is that you actually hesitated for a brief second, a uh, brief half a second, which was a big mistake. Uh, you you wouldn't have. Uh, like, you know who, who's who's TPing. It's either Slardar or Magnus or Razor, right? Two of them can stun you. You most likely do get stunned if you stand here. So instead of, uh, you should have, uh, what do you call it, war cried here and then ran straight to here. Then you see TP over here, then you stand right here next to, next to the tower away from the stun range. So that even if, even if they do stun you, you do get the tower, they're not going to kill you from full health. There's no way... Either of these people at 14 minutes in kill you from full health. So this hesitation costs you the kill on the tower, which is 300 gold. It's a huge, huge amount. 300 difference than if I the creeps got it. Yeah. 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 Okay, so it's 100 for everybody, isn't it? And then it's like 150 it. for everybody. But if somebody gets a kill, then that's uh, 300, 350, something like that. 300 gold or something like that. Um, but if you don't get the kill, then nobody gets that extra 300 gold. So you I actually lose out on that goal. About that yeah, yeah. Tower. I know I missed the stack, like, God, like, out of the next 10 potential stacks, I must have missed, like, six of them. Yeah, that's big. That's a big... Um, if you're having a hard time stacking the fourth and the fifth, just clear it out at the third. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Okay. Well, yeah. no, I don't have a problem with it um, on the fourth, ever. You just forget to remember it. Because I'm not used to a melee, and sometimes I don't even have a problem with the fifth. That's a little tricky, um, but the problem is uh, remembering to do it. Sometimes I usually remember to do it like in the last few weeks more than I did this game, but I do I do forget it a lot. So um, um, that's not good. Also, uh, Yasha before Blink, we already discussed that. Yeah, getting this range creep is fine now. Um, I hope you do get to stack it though. Oh, you saying um, so? Yeah, the Sandra and Yasha before Blink, um, and oh, then you forget get to stack the, uh, it. That's not good. You you, you could have stacked it, and you missed I the know. stack. <laughs> like, so these are actually really, really big. You you probably missed out on about a, you missed out 100 percent more than a thousand gold in the stacking, which actually there was no ex there's no excuse for that. I probably shouldn't have used my alt to kill that either, huh? No, you could have. That's fine. That's 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 one place that I would definitely say yes. Use your alt. You, you could do that. Just, just to get rid but of it. It's and get just, out. 
Yeah, um, but no and get keep keep farming. Uh, but I don't think they use your ult with mana boots. Yeah, mana. Sorry, mana uh, int treads. So yeah, that's by the way, the I'm not missing. I'm missing them either because I forget or I didn't like switch my camera fast enough. Like yeah. I, I didn't actually miss time that. I just realized I was too late, and I think I just said screw it. I'll just do it for practice. I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah, I was like, uh, I switched. I lost track of the time because I was okay. looking at the map or something. You know. But. You could have had this kill quite easily. Uh, the TP was fine. Uh, actually, the TP was not fine because you actually didn't check the map before you checked. Did you check the mini map? No, I don't think so. Somebody's right. So it doesn't matter what hero you're playing, you unless you're a support, you always want to, even if you're a support, you always want to check the mini map. Look at what's actually happening. You see five-man five, in, five man engagement or a huge engagement going on. You want to click the minimap and see what's going on. Maybe all of your heroes are on 100 health and they're dying. And you keep in and you'll just feed yourself as well. Maybe the enemy team is all almost dying. And your team is going to get the kill anyway. And the, there's no point in you going. So you have to yeah. first check what the situation is. Take, take 100 milliseconds to decide. 200 milliseconds to decide. Like, do you want... Do you, can you contribute there or not? Right? Even if you can contribute a little bit, um, go for it, right? Uh, depending on your items. If you had had a blink, because this is enough gold for a blink, you definitely could have had a blink, and you should have had a blink level one. Uh, sorry, le not level one, level um, the, the first item, Wait, before Yasha. I'm, okay, so before Yasha, the blink dagger, because I yeah. farm faster and get around faster, yeah. and I can initiate if I have to, yeah, or uh, exactly. uh, help with the kill. Yeah, I mean, if, if you'd used um, int, int boots to uh, use your ulti, you you most likely have enough for a storm hammer, right? Yeah. So it and is instead of much. and instead of Yosha, if you have blink, when you TP in right here, you move down, move down. You blink here. You blink right here. Okay, let's let's see. You 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 could have had double kill. Is what I'm about to say. Yeah, yeah. You, you TP right. here and you blink right here. You stun these two. Okay, he he dies any that guy dies anyway, but that could have been your kill. You stun this guy as well, and you get this kill as well because he he's stunned and tiny, and you both do a lot of damage. You already had God's Strength on at that time as well, but because you don't have blink, you miss out on two kills. And let's see what you do now if you're gonna farm or what. Okay, and you go back to farming. That's fine. So it's these small small things, you know. Uh, that are all the difference between you know 2k, 3k, and 4k. Very very yeah. small things, small decisions. They all add up. Like even like the yeah, eight creeps exactly. I missed in lane was like a uh, exactly. like boots. You know? Exactly, hundred percent. It's just a blink dagger that much faster. It's it's getting that kill that much faster. It's uh, depriving the enemy. If you get a blink dagger, you know one minute faster. Maybe that one minute means that you know Slardar would have gotten the blink in the next minute, but you instead got a blink, you killed him, and you pushed his blink timer even further back. You slowed him down even more. You know, By the way, um, here's where my team wanted me again. Oh, no, no. After I killed this guy, I leave, and I'm just like, I gotta go. And um, I don't think they were too happy with me when I left, but this might not be it. Well... This might be it. The fact that you were here already... The fact that you were here is something that you should be wondering, like, why are you here in the first place? You shouldn't no, have been um, here. At, at this point, when I left. Okay, so let me, let me first say that, again, you don't have Blink, you don't have the initia initiation, you don't even have S and Y. So you're not in fighting shape right now. You shouldn't be fighting, right? Yeah. That's one thing. Okay. Secondly, all your team is here. They can do whatever they want to do right now. You are not helping especially with, with your items right now, you're not helping. You need to be farming. If you had a blink at this point right now, maybe, maybe, maybe you could have gone to this camp, farmed this, and if something happens, you assess the situation, you blink in ulti, and then you know you throw the storm hammer and kill a couple of people. But right now, your decision to go here, you're in a dangerous territory right now. Yeah, your team is behind you, but you do not need to be here. You're showing the enemy heroes where you are so that they can actually... Think about harassing you or taking, uh, killing you or getting you out of the lane. Even yeah. if it's a trap, doesn't matter. You're not the one who should be springing this trap. Not at this point in the game. You can't even blink out. They might be able to immediately kill you. So Yeah, they, I mean, if they were any better, then they would have probably. They would have, I don't definitely. know where they are right now in the fog, but I think I only saw one 
four missing because I saw one like show up in that ward by CM yeah. like ten seconds ago. Yeah, and you don't even have uh, alt on. It's better for you right here. It would have been better if you'd use alt instead of used storm hammer, because if you ulti, you kill this um, this guy. What's his name? Razor. So much faster because you already have alts as uh, stuns. You've got stun on on this tiny. If you alt right here uh, and tiny stuns him, oh, there's axe as well. So you guarantee stun this guy. You all three of you chew down your disables at the exact same time and you didn't manage to kill him because of that. Instead of chain stunning, you all chew down your stuns at the exact same time. Uh, instead, if you'd only used ult, literally if you'd only used ult, this was a guaranteed kill in like a minute and a half, a second and a half. One and a half second otherwise. Yeah, I think so, I eventually... I was trying to tread switch it and find it, but I couldn't, and then I accidentally left it on agility, and then I think I finally actually get my ult and then up end from my mana from CM. At some point I get it going. Yeah. I still don't have it. That that was without ult? I think I thought I hit it. Holy yeah, crap. that was Because I was hitting him pretty hard without it. I mean Yeah. So okay. this was a bit of a chase what you just did. Now you see, you keep, keep uh, this early in the game where you don't have that much um, damage and you're not like a super sane right now. Uh, you want to be seeing where your team is. You want to stay behind your team. You this this movement, although it didn't actually land you death, uh, this movement was bad. You should be behind your team. You should be behind this tiny nax. And if you see that they're already really low, you should not be there anyway. Okay. Because if they die, then you're exposed and you don't have the um, capability to survive even against these three people. So, playing aggressive is important, but calculated aggressive, that's that's the most important. Um, when you get to a higher level, it would be a completely different situation. I would not be telling you to run away from that side, definitely not. But. Because right now, what your aim is, your aim is to farm as much as possible, get as much gold and, uh, you know, better farm than your enemies, and then go into a fight. Already, you're the highest net worth. You're above that Tiny who has 9 and 2. Tiny's 9 and 2. You're still 0 and 1. Let's see, I got that stack. Yeah, I am. Uh, you're, I am. You're, and look at that. I'm already above you're Tiny. One th okay, again, I'll use. You're exactly 1,000 gold above net worth above that Tiny. And he's spent all this time, you know what he's been doing all this time? Getting these Running kills? In. He's been making space for you. Yes. That's what he's been I doing. I don't think he realized that either. I no, he doesn't. He, well, maybe a little, but he just thought, like, I need to be there. We need to be fighting. We need to be winning these fights. And, but, but like I said before, supports and carries, to, uh, um, both supports and carries, like I said earlier, uh, don't realize the potential of, of how larger yeah. carry can just get and just completely dominate everybody and uh yeah, like, you know like, a lot of people have the conception that Sven is not like you know like am or specter where they got to get really big to just light up um oh, i guess they're Sven's exactly unique, the same. so he can like kind of clean up like mm. a lot of carries but i don't know you tell me yeah he's exactly the same as am or specter uh, the the only actually difference is that AM and Sven actually come online at the same time, whereas Spectres takes a lot longer, but uh, at the same time Spectre is harder to kill, so is AM, whereas Sven is easier to shut down in the early game. Um, look at their carry. Their carry is 7,000 gold. You're, ninth, you're almost 2,500, you're almost 3,000 gold above their carry. You're... Exactly. That's significant. I mean, is that like crazy big difference or just that is a big difference for twenty minutes in? That's a big difference. You're almost exactly an oh, item. Yeah. So you have a blink S and Y. So you have one, two, three, and treads. Three items and a treads. This guy has one, two, like phase boots and two items, barely. Uh, Yasha is not even a full item. You okay. see the huge amount of like difference in the gold. Mm -hmm. You are you're you're ready to fight right now. Yeah, I think that's what I You've told my team, blink? but then I got, yeah. I, I think I might have blown my ult again or something, and then they get in another fight, and I wasn't oh, able good. to help. You, you managed and to... I, I, think, I remember telling them, don't go in, don't fight, wait, my ult's down, and that happened like two or three times, but they got in the fight yeah. anyway. Like right here, I think I go mid and get some creeps, and then CM thought I was there to help fight, and then everybody... Uh, treads on, friends should be... Here, wait a minute. See, I used my ult again, even though enemies are kind of coming nearby. Which... No, 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 this is fine. Again, this is fine usage of ult, but you have... Your ult right. is almost up, so where 
where where you going is not where you should be going. This is fine. You stay, take this farm, but after this, you should go back to the jungle and wait out your ult. So here's where it is. Like I can now see where they thought I was gonna be in this fight, and then I just leave. I think I said I was leaving, but I'm no, not it doesn't sure. matter. You don't need to say anything to them. You should gone should have gone up to the jungle here, not not here. You're wasting some time, but I was not waiting a... for the, uh, creeps to respawn, but okay. Yeah, you should have just gone to the jungle instead. Not a huge uh, difference, but what you're doing so far in this game, uh, you've made some small um, e e e efficiency mistakes. Uh, you've made some small, some large uh, item choice mistakes. You should always go for blink first on Sven. Um, yeah, I think I always forget <laughs> like which one it was, but it's a blink. Okay, I'll get it. Yeah. Well, and use it. Use it as much as you possibly can. Where you're going right now is dangerous. You don't need to be going here to farm. This is what I mean. Like from the from the get go, you should have gone when you were here. You should have gone to this jungle camp here and stacked this instead of getting this now. Your creep is over here, and you know we're gonna get that stack. So focus on focus on farming as efficiently as possible. Your creep is here. It's not stacking. All right, that was good. You saw the opportunity. You took it. That's great. But you need to get out. Safe. Yeah, I see. I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, and that's very good. Me. What you did is no. what professionals call split pushing. Space uh, you creating and split pushing force actually, because you made sure, yeah, forced you forced the rotation when they were at your tier three, when they were right. pushing your base, and you managed to, you were pushing this lane. So um, this guy had the Magnus had to come and defend. You killed Magnus, so another person had to come and defend, and then and they had to leave their. Their um, their progression, their push, or, yeah, yeah their push. So yeah. what you did is great, but you didn't you didn't necessarily have to do that because what you could have been doing well, after you farmed this lane, you would have seen that they're pushing your high ground. So you TP here and you wait for Axe or Tiny to initiate, and then you take that team fight and you get a five man wipe. Okay. Because right now you have to also recognize when you are stronger and when the enemy is stronger. And you are definitely strong. You need to be checking other people's uh, items, especially yes. their carries items. You have not done that all this game. No, I haven't. But, I'm but really another, bad at that. So you need to like keep telling me when we watch these videos. Another like, job do, do this, do this. for another job for Marie is that she can actually check the carries items and tell you like, okay, this guy now has this side of Yasha. You know, Slardar now has. Um, um, armlet, you know, this guy has this, etc, 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 because you're focusing on farming, so CM can actually focus on these other nitty-gritty nitty things. Okay. Nope. I'm really bad at that, man, so you just tell me, it's, like... It's fine, you, you, have, you have to eventually get there. Well, I, I keep forgetting to ask you, like, do I call you M, or Destructor yeah. Boy, or... Yeah, M, M is fine. M? Okay. Alright. Wait for it. Oh, okay. I'm trying to wait, and I don't know what happened. What, what happened? You got shackled. Oh, Tiny tosses me before my blink was ready. I, it was not my choice to go in, and I was like, oh, and then I got like discoordinated. Stop this guy. Oh, okay. I lost my camera, or like I lost All right. my grip on things. All right, let's analyze this a little bit. It's yeah. kind of a uh, kind of a big deal. This is a yes. Like everybody I was upset after that. I want to go on free cam. Actually, first of all, I want to go on their perspective. We're going to watch you one more time and see how you could have done it better. Um, small... I have a problem using the mic too much, too. That guy Echo actually recommended that I just stop using it. But... Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But you should have had a ward here. That, that CM's a job. You should have had yep. a ward here. But if you don't have a ward here, then you should not have been risking things. What you should have done is, you know where CM is standing? You should be standing exactly there. Hello, CM. <laughs> waiting for Tiny or Axe to initiate once they have vision. Right? Okay. So instead, you come in from the back here, and right now you have no idea where your hero is. Because you're clicking blink right now. I see you clicking blink right now, and you're not even close to the blink range. Yeah. And because you don't have vision of your hero, or you don't know exactly where your hero is, you end up getting Axe and yourself shackled here. Yeah, you're right. That's exactly what happened. I thought I was closer or something, and yeah, and then I'm like, oh so, crap! I can't move. I can't blink. I'm th shocked. This is this is about being 
calm under pressure. Like yes. imagine, imagine if you would actually blink stun these guys. Imagine Tiny went in and right here you actually were where CM was. You were there, and this moment you blink stun Take these four them. people, two hits, and they're all dead. Yeah, the one guy I was hitting was pretty much hitting in the opposite direction of the other three heroes. Yeah. Um. So. Now let's having, see the... Having, like, I should have never even made that mistake where I was discombobulated and trying to blink. You should have... Once, you, you once, need... once I did get shackled, was it the right thing to back off a second until my blink dagger was off its uh, damage? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you should be here where CM yeah. is. You see where yeah. CM is going? She's going to yeah. a place where she has vision around most of her area, right? You don't have vision here, so you should not be going here. The axe going yeah. here, that's a bad mistake. Uh, even then, you should be here in a safe area. Sven needs to be in a safe area. Uh, yeah. Well, CM has a normal brain. No, 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 uh, wait. <laughs> oh, what? That was a big mistake from Sierra as well. What, what did, you, did you cancel it or did you... Watching her perspective now? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. What? Did you can what? Oh, you... Oh, no. She used... <laughs> yeah, he I used... Because he was in front of me and I, I got scared because nobody else was, like, yeah. functional at the time. Oh, God. This would have been melted totally... melted me down, like... This would have been a totally different before. team fight, though. No, I think you should have taken know, one for the team. You should have taken one for the team, you should have let him hit you, but if your ult had channeled a little bit longer, they would have been slowed a bit more, maybe Sven had had a, time, had a little bit more time. Uh, could have been a different team fight. Definitely you could know, have been a different team fight. And, and uh, Marie, just while we're at this, um, feel free to ask a question and stop us at any point, okay? I actually think that's interesting. And makes no, sense. I, mean, I, I know I fucked that up, that's why I, like, I just <laughs> went back. Like, okay, your screw up is a small <laughs> one though, I think, I think the bigger issue is Sven. Whenever somebody is that far oh, in the network... Yeah, because it's your fault because you're that far in the net worth. You're their team's carry and like the highest net worth. When the highest net worth goes in and dies like that, that's game losing. That you, how much gold did you give to them? Oh, a lot. A lot. I'm pretty sure a lot. See, so, Marie, you see how much gold me and Tiny have at this point. We should be just destroying them. Exactly, and but you can't destroy them when you have bad positioning like that. It's all about it. Positioning is key here. Uh, yeah. The axe needs to initiate, or tiny needs to initiate, and you need to go in afterwards. After you see that Slarder has used a stun, uh, uh, Sand King has used a stun, then you go in. Obviously, now that you've got a BKB, the situation changes slightly in that all you need to wait is for axe to blink in and call, and that's it. Then you actually turn on BKB and jump in. You don't need to wait for stuns, anybody to stun or anything. You just go in. Now, um, or the RP. You remember oh, RP yeah, is not bad. Yeah. The RP was the only thing I was scared of in this game. RP is not something you need to be... In the win as, as I mean, Sven. in the starter all. But. Yeah, because RP is something... You, even slaughter all, you, need, you don't need to be scared of it because it doesn't actually do damage to you. They can't physically burst you down during the RP duration. Your PKB is going to last longer. And if they are all on you... If you if they if he RPs you and they all go on you, they're not gonna kill. They're not even gonna bring you to half health when you've got BKB on, right? What as fair. soon as that two second or three second, however long his RP is, like three seconds. As soon as it comes off, that's it. You you you. They're all five standing right next to you, waiting for you to kill them. Okay. Right? Uh, real so, quick, just because, like, do you remember? Um, can you click on Magnus? What is his level four, three ultimate um, duration? Is it the duration the same? Three point seven five. Three point seven five. Okay, it's almost for it. Like you're right, three seconds. Um, but yeah, okay. I mean, so, the other thing you, you can do is yeah, you can uh, you can either wait for Magnus to ult, or you can actually blink and stun Magnus to begin with. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, so a uh, quick here? question. Um, so you would have gone blink before data list this game, right? Definitely. And then, blink is like uh, your first item. Before, I mean, uh, before what? Sound and Yashin. No, I meant um, BKB before uh, data list in this game. Yeah, I think BKB before data list is uh, is the go way to go here. Yeah, because there's slaughter, stomp. There's just there's a lot of stun. Razor can um, still can Razor steal your damage through BKB? Yeah. I think he yeah. can. He'd be a shit hero if he could do that. Let me... Uh, let me see one thing. How did you actually end up being in that fight? You don't have... Uh, a, would you have kept your Quellen Blade <laughs> instead of a TP? Like I did? 
probably yes. Uh, no, sorry, I would have sold my Aquarian Blade now because they are, there's a lot of fighting going on. And we have uh, tier 2, there's a TP out too. So yeah, and there's a tier 2, the TP in 2. Okay. And what you could be doing right now, because there's so much 5 manning going on, you can actually start doing that split push thing. You could have pushed this lane a little bit, and if they do keep pushing here, then you could have TP'd here. You have a BKB now, so you can take these slight risky things. If they do try to go on you, you can turn BKB on, stun that person and get that kill. And make sure the like. Actually, I'm not gonna say that because it's that's getting to a little bit more advanced section. So I don't wanna, um, you know, I, I don't wanna uh, lay too much on you. So I think. Uh, hold on a second, please. No it's a lot it's to a take lot in, to isn't it? it? It's a lot. It's pretty cool, pretty though. Cool, huh? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It feels like it's uh, like middle of the day, but it's only it's still pretty early. Right. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, your let's see your initiate. So, I think you definitely should have. They've got two BKBs on. I think two of them have BKBs. I think you definitely should have waited for their BKBs to wear off. Yeah. Uh, and also, y there's four of them. There's just you and CM. You should have let your CM die. You would have should have waited for either you should have waited for their BKBs to wear off, or you should have waited for Tiny to come in, and then you should have turned on your BKB alt and gone in. Yeah, I would have blown them up. You would have definitely blown them up. You need to, that's what that's what uh, Sven does. He blows people up when they're standing next to each other. So you're not also also do not jump into four heroes even if they're clumped together like this especially when they have bkb on maybe what you could have done is you could have sta stood here or further back and let's see free camera uh, you, you should have you could have seen uh who is in the back lines a squishy person somebody solo somebody squishy Sve there, there you go if you'd standing Sorry. if you'd been standing here you could have actually turned on your alt not even bkb you don't need bkb for this you turn on your alt you blink in, you stun Slardar, one slice, two slices, he's dead. And by that time, it, and they probably CM would have lived then. Or if they'd continue to chase CM, that's perfect. Because then you actually turn on ben, um, this guy. What's his name? Windrunner. And you start slicing him. And by the time CM dies, you probably have bring, brought her ha to half health. And that's when you turn your BKB on. Yeah. So, oh, also, uh, no, go ahead. Yeah, Good. so so just just again again this game positioning, waiting to for your team to go in first. Don't try to be a hero. Be be my, a my kill name. Stealer. My name is be hero. Be a kill stealer. Change your name to kill stealer. Because that's <laughs> what you. Because that's that's, good, that's what Sven needs to be doing or aiming for. You need to be aiming to be a kill stealer. You need to wait for your team to initiate. And then you need to like get the best opportunity and go in. Sometimes what's going to happen if you start doing that, what's going to happen is sometimes what's going to happen, you're just going to be standing there, team fights all over, your whole team is dead, and you actually didn't actually get a good opportunity. You know, that's part of learning. That will happen. Your whole team will blame you, will report you, you know, too bad. That's what's going to happen. But eventually, if you do 10 times that, eventually you'll figure out that, okay, this sometimes the opportunity window is extremely small. And you need to take it as soon as you get it. But the, the only way you can learn that is by making mistakes, making those plays where I swear to God, I've played so many heroes. Even now, sometimes I'm standing there. There's a team fight going. I'm not getting an opportunity. I'm not getting an opportunity. All my team is dead. And I just like keep me back home. Full health, full mana, full cooldowns happens. You know, it's part of the game. But you do not use your skill. If that's what your hero does, that's what your hero does, you know, you, you can't just go in and, uh, you know, as a tide, you don't know, go in and blink late game into one person and ult. That, that's game losing. Cool. Because you can still defend base, but you can't, if a fight is happening here and you die like that, you know, it's uh, pretty good. Look. Do you mind uh, putting on player perspective again? Yeah, sorry about that. No, yeah, you're fine. I... I figured you were going to. Has gone through um, okay. I'm uh, wondering what item I was buying next. What would you buy next in this game? I say Daedalus. Daedalus. Our Daedalus. Yes, I did. Yeah. I did to get that. And then also, after Daedalus, what would you have gotten? Also, uh, small 
a couple of small things you you haven't been stacking and the other thing is that they when you did when you guys did win that team fight you need rush sven takes rush quite quickly and you can actually probably take it by yourself or just with cm but you should be you should be taking rush i haven't seen you take rush in any of your games i don't think i could take it without a chrysalis by myself you without can, my ult got, or with it you told yeah, me not yeah, to use my ult. ult to use no no to you can rush. use your ult for ancients and for rush on oh okay yeah and the ideal time to do that is let's say you have a three or four stack and you kill oh. one or two people so you come here you ult or maybe you have already ult on i don't know depends uh you ult you take the camp the the, the stacks and then you go to rush and rush is very important on heroes who can take him easily and Sven is one of those heroes. Okay. I I think your farming eff efficiency is going down now at this point in the game. You're kind of running around trying to look for kills. Oh, everybody trying was to, like, why the hell did you use your ult there and I did it was just a big waste. Yeah, I mean one hero didn't that's one V five, you definitely did not need to use your ult there. And now so, you're going into, carelessly. You you're going into dangerous territory now. Uh, there's a complete black map. I, I, imagine right now, Slardar blinks in and stuns you, puts minus armor on you, chain stun on from Sand King. You know it's it's very dangerous right now. Windrunner can quite quickly kill you. Okay. Yeah, I think I sometimes do stuff like this because most of the time I get away with it, but then in some games I could throw it just because they jump me and kill me. It, because of the MMR bracket I'm in. Um, it's that I, I was aware that I could have gotten jumped, but I, I, I took the risk, and, and I agree with you now in hindsight that I should not have. Yeah, there's other places you can farm, that's the thing. Yeah. This, was, this is a game that you can win quite... Look at, just look at the difference in gold. Uh, net worth different. You are almost you're reaching twice the net worth of their carries like their mid is 10k you're almost 20k their carry is 10k you're almost 20k your next person tiny is almost like close to 10k 12k no. you're um. almost 20k you're tw two th uh, twice the net worth of the next one two three four five people six seven people in the game so would you, just to be a devil's advocate, right is there here. any scenario in which, okay. in this particular game, uh, hey. yeah, go ahead. I, I, I would have been better off ending the game quicker Yeah. Um, by just picking more fights and farming a little less? Because, I mean, look, even though I'm almost double those people <laughs> under me, like, five of the, uh, four of the Radiant team is, is right under me in Sven. Yeah. With the rest of my team falling under because all they did was create space for me. The thing is, uh, once you have S and Y, then you can start joining team fights if they're happening around you, uh, and if it's just a, a, a TP away. So let's say under a tower or something. Like it's not too much, too much of your time wasted. Um, after you have Daedalus, is when you can actually start five manning and looking for team fights. Okay. Not before Daedalus. Uh, okay. But right now, what's going to happen, this is the perfect example, like literally 10 out of 10, what you should be doing. You're farming jungle right now, right? You're going to this big camp. Your whole team is there. You're close by. You're not that far away. And this is more or less how far you should be from your team. Like right now, if a team fight breaks out, you are at a perfect distance because nobody's going to go on you. Nobody even knows where you are. Right here, you start running. You turn your ult on. You turn your um, war cry on. They're all fighting 5v5, and then you blink in at the perfect time, and you, you kill all of them. But this is what happens right now. This is very close to... Like, this is also very very much perfect. See, instead of showing yourself... So, there's... You could have actually gone and taken this this farm right here. It, it would have been very, like, natural. Oh, look, there's farm here, and Axe doesn't need it. I should go and take it. But you didn't, and that was the right decision to make, because, because they're all here, Right? Yeah, so I was actually remember Marie when I said I, I'm gonna bait axe. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what you what you did here, right here, is the perfect sure. thing. You turn like this is it. Axe initiated. They're 
two closest people are actually called, stunned, whatever you want to call it. And the perfect timing, you got perfect angle, and you managed to stun, uh, uh, kill, blow up both of them. And now you're gonna kill uh, Sand King easily, and you're gonna kill this guy easily I as well. I felt like after I blew up the first two people, though, that I chased the wrong heroes or something. I felt kited a little. Well, up until now, whatever you've done, it has been exactly to the dot perfect. This is exactly what I wanted you to do, right? Okay. Um, let's see what happens afterwards. Like, all you, le le you lose for four kills, you lose just an axe. I think this is kind of where the team just went quiet and stopped messing with me about, you know, uh, joining oh, them because wow, they realized how that. big I was. And then, but then somewhere, I think we do another dominating, um, like triple or quadruple kill or something for me with the team. And then after that point, I start making some really big, stupid mistakes because of one, like, because I maybe got too anxious because after those two big wins, I think I uh, either made a mistake or a team got wiped or something. And then I think I got anxious. I mean, and look I at it. Look, look, mistakes. look at what happened, right? You guys killed four people. What only Axe died. He's an idiot. He bought back, but only <laughs> Axe died. Look at your health. You're f still full HP. You're almost full mana. You haven't lost anything at all. Right. Your ult is on cooldown, and that's the only thing you've lost. That's what you need to be doing as Sven. Now uh, you're pushing high ground. This is perfect. Um, maybe. Okay. Yeah, blinking. Okay. Uh, when did you use your blink? That's fine. That's perfect. You get the kill. You should definitely get a melee, melee, melee. Uh... Yeah, uh, two of us were saying get back, get back, get back, and I no, felt this like was it not might time have been to a good idea. But I was the like, no, I'm gonna. I'm, I got my ult coming up. <laughs> the time to get back is when Magnus comes back alive. Nobody else. You kill this guy. He's dead for long. Windrunner is not coming back for a while. You. Uh, okay, you kill Slardar. It's okay. But you should have been focusing. Now this is a mistake. This right here is a mistake. Um, you should you turn your ult. You should have used. You, uh, you should have used your ult for the tower. Just keep, just keep hitting this. Just keep hitting. Don't worry about anything else. Okay, you should have kept hitting it. Should have kept hitting it. You you had your ult. You should have. What Piney is doing. That's what you should have been doing. Uh, that's a good play right there. Perfect. Perfect. I like to sometimes leave as Finn and reinitiate. At this point, at this think point. I'm running. If this was one of my games, at this point, I might have actually dropped my treads and broken them just to, you know, say to them, look, we won the game. You know, there's no way I lose this now. Literally, at this point, you're in a position that it's impossible for you to lose this game. And I swear I to God, if oh. you... <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna... Alright, I quit. Dota. So, I, just... let's see what you actually guys do to lose this game, because right here, you do not lose this game at all. It is me. And right now, I'm still feeling big, you know, and I don't, I don't, I can't remember exactly the, the turning point. I'll remember, I think, I'll tell you when, what this I was This is where you start like, doing why? the Moon Meander plays, where you guarantee, like, guaranteed one, you know, so. So they want to do Rosh, Rosh, but I took this first. That's fine. There's no Rosh, by the way. Oh, this is what happens. Wait, there's not? So it's later that I, mm -hmm. like Marie says, I should have, later on, we were taking Rosh. And the enemy team's coming, and I'm really worried about their heroes jumping he in the pit. And I'm like half health with my alt disappearing, and, and Rush was almost dead. And I blink out, and the whole team gets killed. Um, you you should have bought a moon shard there. What did you buy? Uh, satanic? You didn't need a satanic. A satanic is when you need sustain or survivability. You don't need survive. You wanna you wanna kill them even faster now. You wanna kill them. In okay. the two seconds that your blink, uh, sorry, that your stun is okay. gonna happen for. So, my question, um, I've been, I wanted to ask you, uh, based off another game I played, was um, when you have Satanic, do you ideally use it while your BKB's on? Like, I know well, it's, you, I know it's you like, you when, use it when you're not stunned and locked down. Yeah. But, like, in some cases, maybe you go in if you're strong enough and tanky enough and you have a Satanic. Obviously, you have <laughs> armor and more HP. So you jump in, don't use a BKB maybe right at first, and then when you start to get hurt, no, 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 on the disables, no, like hit BKB and then hit Satanic, and then you can just like freely get a full no, life back. There's no way you're gonna guarantee that you're not gonna die in that stun duration. Okay. Uh, so you still BKB and go in. Satanic is only if like the last resort, like you, you're almost dying, and you know that's when you press the Satanic button. But right now, uh, if I was you, I would have put my Satanic, uh, put my helm on the ground. Uh, ask the courier to like brought the courier to pick it up, 
kept the uh, Helm of Dominator in base and picked up a Moon Shard here until my Satanic was completed, and that's when I consumed the Moon oh. Shard. And by because right right now you've got so much health, you don't actually need the Life Steal anymore. So if I would have gone Moon Shard instead of the Satanic, I would have eaten it and picked up the Satanic. You no, 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 no. You Moon Shard gives you for four thousand gold, hundred and twenty attack speed, which is more attack speed than. Uh, for for the for the price, then you know the cost of the tax speed or whatever you want to call it. It's it's much much more worth it. Um, I think the for four thousand gold, I think the going number is about uh, ninety or hundred uh, effective price or best price. But if you consume it, then it's just sixty attack speed, and that's extremely bad for four thousand gold. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, keep the moon shard here until you complete your satanic. Because what's going to happen then again, if, if Axe blinks in and calls, and let's say he calls two or three people, and then Tiny blinks in and he stuns two or three people, you turn God Strength on, you jump in, and in that two, two second duration, you're going to wipe out the entire team. Guaranteed. You don't need lifesteal at that point. Okay. So, um... Because for 37 minutes... But obviously, minutes, getting this, I, even though that was the better choice by far or whatever... Uh, obviously, that didn't contribute to me throwing this game. <laughs> I mean, like like that item choice didn't make me throw this at all. It's 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 what I chose to do. You'll see. All right, let's see. You're you're way too far ahead. Okay, let's see here. That you was random. Just jump in and try to hit people. That I, was I, I bad. Yeah. That was bad, but it wasn't too bad. It's not too bad. Okay. Okay. Please. Go on the tower. The tower. You played this quite bad, to be very honest with you. Uh, <laughs> okay. First off, first off, it's a black map here. You, you, if if you'd had a ward here and you had vision on the enemy team, it would have been a different situation. But uh, it's 37 minutes in. You're six slotted. This is when you kind of stop farming. And you start staying around your team, and you farm close to your team, very close to your team. Like you can farm this stack, this this camp here, so close to your team that you're just like a blink distance away. Um, but you're actually here, where you have no vision, and you're completely exposed to the enemy. They know exactly where you are. So this is bad. Second thing is that uh, you should have picked here before jumping in. So, so what you should have done is you should have stood stood here where you were. Uh, if, like maybe if, let's walk say made... up and like up into the right and let my team clash for a moment while my blink comes back. Yeah, exactly. Well, you should have been blinked aggressively like this anyway. This this was a game losing mistake. This blink alone was should have been a game losing mistake because you blink aggressively when you have no vision next to a close to enemy you know enemy lane or whatever. Because what you should be using blink for is if let's say right here you see a slot or something you blink away. But well, you actually blink in, so that's definitely definitely. Or let's bad. say I don't blink in, and I'm still being stupid, no vision, and I start hitting the creeps. Then at least if they came up and did damage to me, I could hit my BKB and and war cry, and then like blink out when the three seconds is up, you know, or something. Maybe, but I have like no options to get away. That, that was that was bad, and also you're farming right now where your team when you see that there's a your team is like kind of fighting. So right here, yeah. you 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 you're farming and your team is fighting. This is 37 minutes and you're 6 noted. you don't need farm anymore. You're okay. actually fully fully capable to oh, end the game. Wait. I'm uh, I'm actually 2.3 like, times or something better, like, exactly. bigger than that. Exactly. Like, right right now, right now, you see the tiny the engagement happening. You should, instead of going here, you should have gone here and waited, maybe waited for your blink to come up, Holden, or just walk here and stun this guy. And so if I played this game a lot better, I think the game would have ended between like 32 and 37 minutes, huh? Yeah, yeah, I think right here is when the game should have ended anyway. If I didn't really um, know. But you're going in, you should you should have BKB'd here as well. Uh, you should have BKB'd here, or you should have stunned this guy. Okay. Uh, right here, you stun this guy. He doesn't get RP off, uh, you BKB, you don't get damage from SK, and you kill, at the very least, uh, this guy, what's his name? No, the uh, this no 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 Magnus. You killed the Magnus at least because you've stunned him, right? So let's see one more time. 
instead of going here, you see engagement happening, you come around this area, you walk up to Magnus and stun him to buy Tiny some time, and make sure Magnus doesn't get his ult off, and you turn BKB on and kill Magnus. Even if you're not gonna do that, even right here, what you could have done is, fine, you blinked aggressively, you cleared out this camp, right here, you should have walked up and right here stunned this guy. You were in range, everything was fine, you could have stunned him. You should have stunned him, you stun him, turn BKB on, and then you clear, clear up, clear up these guys. You maybe would have killed more than one person as well, but they definitely would have been, okay. would have had to back off. And what happens then is you actually bring aggressively without with the BKBs on. It's not good. But then you come and take the tower, I hope, and that's the right right play. But your ult is off now, so you need to back off. Okay, that's fine. What? Why'd you why'd you run away? From starter. But you're okay. Uh yeah, my BKB is down and everything. I thought that mm -hmm. I should run. No, that's fine. I mean you should have backed off way long ago when I when I said that your ult right. is off. But um, if you were gonna take the tower like that then you could have should have just taken it. Okay, big mistake coming up. Like Third huge one. Maybe there's like four or five big ones now at this point, but this is bad. Well, I accidentally blink out of the pit. I think too. No, no. This this is an. Oh. Okay. Okay. You're still farming. Uh, you should be pushing tower. I think uh, one one definitely one advice for CM is that you need to buy more wards, and you need to place the wards where. Uh, the next engagement, you think the next engagement is going to be, and that's mostly around tower. So if you want to push this high ground here, or when tower was here, you should have put a ward right here. And if they're going to push the high ground, then you want to, you, you always, if you take Rax, you want to put a ward down here. Sure. I know they've got a sentry, and their sentry is because they're expecting a ward to be here, but it's obviously not. So you, you could have had a ward around this general area, it doesn't matter where, uh, maybe even here. To just get a sneak peek of the their slight bit of high ground, but the ideal place, if you can manage it, is right here, right here, just between the tower ranges, or uh, just away from this, the range of this tower. Right. Here. I always have so much trouble placing that ward. Oh, That's it's because right. you can't. You have to walk up to the wall before yeah. you place it. You can't place. Oh yeah, it I, know, I know. Okay. I know. You but mean without I getting hit by a tower? Or? No, it's just. Uh, I don't know, I just have problem placing that war and I take so much time that I either get engaged or they just see me placing the war and so they deward it immediately. Mm. But definitely vision is a big big issue here um, in this game as well. Uh, if you'd had some vision around this area, you would have been able to get a solo pick off maybe if somebody comes in to farm this, maybe just to have a high ground ward. Okay, going in Roshan without vision, that's again go game losing. Um, CM's job was definitely to put a ward up here. Your job is to not go Rosh Rosh if you don't have a ward. Uh, if your team insists on going there to Rosh without ward, then you say, I'm not going to take part in that and you stand right here. Oh my god. Yeah, I just realized what I did. I put down my boots to get Aegis when I could have given it to someone else. I think I thought I had bots at that point for some reason. Even if I did, I couldn't carry it. Uh, I'm running around without fine. fucking boots. No, that's fine because you don't actually need boots at this point because you all you have to do is wait for the right engagement. Oh, look, okay. there's an invis rune as well, but you didn't take it. Oh, wow. I think yeah. I can get it in a minute, though. Uh, if you, what you need to do is you need to just stand behind your team Wait for the right opportunity, blink in, and then after that, you don't actually move. You just slice, slice, yeah. slice. Yeah. Uh, but instead, you're the one in front of everybody. So that's, again, you didn't so need the is, ages. This is the point of the stage where I'm like really big and I and I they, get like bossy and nah, I don't they, play the same way. I play like like a big dummy and then I... The ages should have gone game. to either tiny or axe, preferably, preferably tiny. Well, or Axe, doesn't matter. Either of these two. Uh, but definitely not you. You did not need Aegis because your playstyle is not... You You are aiming to have full health. You're going to have full health. You're not going to die. It's impossible for you to die because of how you're going to play. You're going to play 
after X blinks in or Tiny blinks in, you're gonna start fighting once your team is fully engaged. So. And suddenly, surprise! You know, Sven is here. So in a so. game like this, you really would rather have like Tiny or Axe with A just because oh, they might yeah. just get blown up. And, oh yeah. But it'll be a it's good their, sacrifice. It's their job to be the frontliner, and it's always the frontliner who carries the Aegis. Okay. Well, not always. Sometimes, like if right. they're playing a storm, the storm carries the Aegis because he's the potential to be blown up. But okay. I see yeah. you're too far from your team right now, dude. For uh, 43 minutes in, you're too far from your team. The the message that I gave you about uh, farming and not caring about your team is valid up until you get aidless. I think at this point I was like, and I'm going to back off and push the lane. Like, please don't go in. I don't know if anybody heard that, but no, I mean, it you was still the wrong move. I should have been with yeah, him regardless definitely. of what I said. Yeah, or? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, don't need, you don't I think backing off is not the option here, not the right call here. You didn't need to back off. You didn't, I think you I had this. Okay, I have this pressure in my Oh, head. I remember what happened. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah, this is where the game starts to go down. Yeah. Yeah, because it's 44 minutes in and you guys got like nearly team wiped and Sven isn't there, what's so the, they they're going to push high ground now. What's the net worth difference right now for the teams? Uh, I, I can't think it's catching up. They can't. No, maybe not. But but if we look back well, you, at that fight, you know you can you can hit your F6, I think, to see it. Like F6, F7. No, it doesn't work. Uh, oh, okay, it never hasn't mind. been working right. for a while in Reborn. Oh, oh I gotcha. So what are you saying? But I'm gonna check. I just want to check the uh, gold swing here and the XP swing here. And I would definitely say it's your fault. So it's a seven thousand gold swing. Okay. And it's a twelve, thirteen, fourteen hundred XP swing. Fourteen thousand oh XP swing. Wow. You realize 14,000 XP is like huge as game losing and, and 6,000, 7,000 gold swing is, it's not that big at this point in the game, but it's the XP and the fact that now your whole team is dead except for you and you're not going to be able to defend and high ground by yourself. And the gold swing is going to be even bigger when like two or three of them are forced to buy back if they are. If they know. are, yeah. But I don't know if they do. Okay, they do, which is like, this is the most ridiculous thing I've seen. You you should have left, you should have fortified and leave this tower and there's this Rax to die. It's too bad, you, you can't defend it. Oh, okay, this is bad. Uh, you didn't play perfect. Yeah, Prospect? they're just gonna run away. Okay. That's the thing, they're just gonna run away. What, are you gonna, what did you actually achieve from a three-man buyback? So, let's say there was a 7,000 gold swing. Now there's a 8, 9... 10, 11, 12,000 gold swing. Yeah. And That's definitely, crazy how much a carry can uh, fuck the game up. That's for sure. Yeah. I mean, 40 minutes into the game, your supports, your mid lane, your whole team did everything that they had to do. They should have done for you. That's now that you you lost, you, you were not with your team when you were six slotted. That was your mistake. The funny Nobody thing is, this, this, so this is where... where uh, the Aegis is about to expire. Oh, okay. Because I'm like, let's don't go in right now. Because I remember everybody was uh, complaining that you didn't go in before. And I'm like, let's why don't go in right now because the Aegis is about to expire. I also, I... why do you keep pushing mid? Push top or bot? Stop pushing mid. Mid will push <laughs> exactly. itself. Exactly! <sighs> okay, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, bad, bad time to use ult. Um, As I said, your job is to go in after your team initiates and instead you use your ult very, very aggressively in front of them. Now, right now, the play is to back off. All your team backs off, go back to jungle farming or whatever, don't take a fight because your ult is off. And so you actually you don't, for the next one minute, You, if you take a team fight, you will lose it. Yes. And you take a team fight as soon as your ult is off. So, this quick is question. Um, right now, if I were to... Even after this mistake right here, if I were to play a lot better, even after all this golden experience sw swing, we'd still have a pretty good chance of winning this game. Let's see what happens afterwards, because let's see what you're going to do now. Well, yeah, but you're like, stunned. you're going to see, like, the biggest mistakes probably aren't even made yet, even though they're terrible and horrendous. You'll see. So you're running around, you're not actually hitting people. And look at that, that sucked. I still get away, but my whole team dies. 
Wait a minute. Oh, you re rewind. Yeah. Yeah, I rewinded it a little bit. Yeah, look at so that. Now, look at that timing. Yeah. Just there. And then. I mean, it's not the ages. Uh, it's the fact that you you used your ult wrong because you you always go in once your team initiates, right? So you right. use your ult once you're guaranteed that you're gonna go in and fight. But you used it aggressively, trying to be a hero. That was <laughs> that was the bad move. <laughs> yeah, you you, did, you just need to. Even if a CM has to go in, it's better than you going in. Yeah. Okay. Good. That's good. When should I hit a creep instead of a hero? When that hero has a uh, so much armor. Like I, no 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 I no no. Be... When when they're running away from you, you don't have blink, you don't have anything else, and they're like 10 HP, 100 HP left, and the creep is right next to them. So you hit the creep to get the cleave off. So you would. I thought I was watching something. Obviously, if someone has a butterfly or something, you probably and you have, you have Daedalus, you probably still want to hit them because when you do hit them. Yeah, I mean, if they have a butterfly, then you want to work towards a BK, uh, uh, um, MKB as soon as possible. I think this game. Uh, MKB would have been a better choice than uh, than Satanic. I think uh, I think you go for Moonshard and then start making MKB. And as soon as you have MKB, you can consume the Moonshard. The Satanic doesn't do anything for you. Like the Satanic hasn't saved your life still now up till now. I, I don't think I've quite got that. I'm sorry. So you would have not gotten the Satanic and deleted I would not have D to get him MKB. Hundred percent. You need a Satanic when you're foot to foot. With a carry who's as much farmed as you are, you're foot to foot, your whole team is dead, his whole team is dead, you're both fighting foot to foot each with each other, and then you use Satanic to get the advantage on him. Um, like, this this game, they are all, they are all creeps right now. That's how you treat them, they are creeps. You just go for damage, 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 attack speed, damage, you don't need survivability. You just need to wait for the right opportunity to blink right. in, jump in, and then you just slice them like creeps. Which I only did like one fight this game. You just did like one or two times. That's it. And then you well, actually the one, built. Yeah. You built like satanic. You built BKB. After BKB, you don't need any defensive items. So I think satanic was a five thousand waste of gold. You were too far ahead to require satanic. I am very. I know you wanted to watch a different hero at this point to try to train on another hero, but I'm really glad we watched this game. I, I mean, this is still the same. I. Uh, you need to possibly watch the previous two sessions because it's more or less the same yes, uh, message. Like point, farm. I don't think I need any more spin games. No. Yeah, like farm effectively, farm efficiently. Um, don't bother with your team up until you get at least S and Y. At which point, only take fights which are close to you or within TP range. And when you get Daedalus, that's when you five man up with your team or. Or farm around your team, close to your team, and look for team fights. But don't jump in to initiate unless unless there's nobody who can stun on the enemy team. In which case, yeah, go ahead, go have, do whatever you want. But obviously, that's never going to happen. Rarely ever ha going to happen. So wait for your team to initiate, to get initiated on. Wait in the sidelines. Wait, wait in the back behind your team, and then jump in and stun uh, alt alt when you have a guarantee that it's the fight has started. And then jump in and use BKB, ult, and stun, and whatnot, and kill people. Here I go again. I shouldn't have blinked the next camp, so I could have no, gone it's, away. It's, I think you're in a dangerous position already, because uh, your whole team is up here. I knew that. I, I, I realized from... they were there, and I thought, well, I can force them again, and the sinking... Okay, that's fine. Watch this. That This blinks and stuns my ass when I'm trying to... I... Uh, um, and that was the huge. play here... No, the play here is stand here, wait here, uh, turn on alt, blink on Sand King, kill Sand King, and take these two Raxes. Okay. And if uh, during that whole time, if one of them starts to TP, then you basically save your base. Uh, and, uh, you know, you still kill Sand King, though. But the thing is, so... these noobs still didn't monopolize on that TP being canceled. They, we still held them out of our base. Uh, what, uh, even after that, uh, even after that, and here's where I almost died. So I went into the base to get my blink cooldown off. No, this is yes. fine. Where you did, you're creating space for your team, which is fine. But they're not actually using that space, so. Well, no, I mean, I didn't go that way to create them space. I was like, at that point, it was the only way I knew how to get away. Because if I kept running on low ground there, I thought I was going to get blinked on and killed. But anyway, that's not really relevant. It's. I, I think at this point in the game. 
uh, yeah, you guys still have sort of uh, a chance to win, but I think your chances to win are uh, going out the door really, really quickly. But see, I still feel right now, if I had actually made good choices, we could still, like, if I still looked for a good point to go in, I stayed with my team, like, I still feel like I could have, like, just wiped them and... and well, right now you're six sorted and you've got lots of extra gold as well. Maybe it's time to swap out your um, S and Y for um, assault or something like uh, that. But see, I was worried I would lose too much attack speed if I got rid of the S and Y. That was my first choice. You'd see no, me hover you, over it. You go, you go um, assault your S as you get more attack speed, actually. This is where I get stupid. I'm like, but... oh, the assault Keras, yeah. See, I kept on thinking, like, which one do I delete? I was thinking no, about it for a little while. Actually, oh, we already see... had an assault cuirass, I think. Oh, did we? I think yeah, so. we did. You guys did have an Tiny. assault cuirass. Yeah. So what would you get us, Scotty? No. What in place of the S and Y? MKB. Uh, that's like oh, a right. from, yeah, long term. Oof. Oh. No, but this is not when we throw the game. Well, we've thrown it all game, but yeah, I agree. This is not this is still wow. Yeah, like this is what I mean. Like you, that's, if, what, if, that's what Sven did incidentally. Yeah, <laughs> I'd only done that on this purpose. is what I said to you like a while ago. That if the if uh, this guy does ult you and they all go on you, they're just giving you an opportunity to kill them because yeah. in that three seconds of stun, they're not going to be able to kill you. But when you do come off of stun cooldown, if you turn on your ult and you start chopping them, they will all die. And that's exactly what happened. And you sold your uh, Satanic to buy the rapier, which is which is not good because you should have sold your Satanic and the Asher to buy the uh, 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 rapier. If but I had this is, rapier. Yeah, but this is not a big deal. This is not a big deal. What's the big deal is that you are got a Satanic and you're playing aggressively. Yes. Like okay. you're away from your team, you should not be here without a tiny. You mean I got a rapier and I'm playing? In yeah. Wrist. Now you have a rapier. You should play like away uh, from you. You should make sure. Oh my god. My thoughts were here is that I have a rapier and only Wind Ranger is going to be up, and I have a BKB, and I could just force their buybacks. But I stayed. Yeah, way yeah. Too you long. you did force their buybacks, and um. Like There's I wasn't so worried until they bought back. The Wind Ranger didn't bother me. That's all I'm okay, saying. Okay, so let me tell you something. First yeah. off, once you do buy a rapier, you want to stay away. First of all, you want to hide that rapier. Yes, right? that's true. So you want to be away from your team. You want to be like, sorry, away from your the vision. You want to stay like behind the trees, ne behind your team. Like mm -hmm. uh, again, again, same thing. Wait for your team to be initiated on, or your team to initiate, and then blink in and do your stuff. But Playing that aggressively, definitely bad. What you managed to do here is it's excellent. You managed to get a couple of uh, couple of buybacks off. That's that's perfect. That's great. And you managed to escape without dying. So that's all perfect. But let's see what happens here. But your your ult is off cooldown. <laughs> your ult is off cooldown, and you need to back off. You don't do rush right now uh, because yeah, you don't have ult. We're already committed. So you Especially tell me if I should have left. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should have left. Definitely, that's the right play for you. Uh, I, I think the wrong play was going into Rosh in the first place. But right. But you leaving is the right play. But would you say that since I was already? Okay, well, it was so, so close to dying. So, Shouldn't I just finish and let my teammate pick it up, and then blink? Because the axe already blinked out. And okay. Call them a few things. A few things. A few things. Let's let's look at this again. So you have vision on these guys, they're far, you keep... I think if you were going to back off, you should have backed off right now. And all three of you should have backed off and let them take Rosh. But you don't back off and let's see, are you taking... Yeah, maybe... Maybe take Rosh or... You see this axe actually blinked in and called a couple of people. You could have actually initiated on them. No, actually that's not right. Yeah, yeah please don't go in. Please don't go in. Please don't go in. Please don't go in. Oh, you know what? <laughs> now it's already messy. <laughs> oh no! All the BKBs are on. I got kited and just fucking destroyed. Yeah. And then I knew I was gonna buy back sooner or later, so I just went and did it. 
and I'm mm. going. I don't. I can't get to the secret shop. What do I do? I bought another S and Y because I didn't know what to buy. Like I, I was like, I'm throwing this. Oh my god! I'm like no. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so Wind Ranger already has more gold. Oh my god. She actually went from like half my gold to over me. She had less than half your gold next year. This is help so helpful to watch this video. I don't I know you're like, dude, I already told you most of these things, but like I said, this is drilling it into my brain. This is a throw if I've ever seen one, dude. I know. <laughs> I, you know, you know forgive me, I buddy. Think I think this is one of those do it, do it, what the fuck moments. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I still don't think it's lost yet, but I mean it is and it isn't, but no. I don't think it's where we lose, is it? Like, right now you've made the game really, really hard for yourself. And you need to stop stunning the person with the, um, with, uh, Lincoln. I know, I kept you, thinking you, like, you I- You stunned I, him I, like seven I, times. Yeah, Look, I, I miss, I misclicked like, Four times trying to kill this guy. Oh, yeah, and you're chasing now. Oh, you're, you're, this is this is. Screen. At this you know point, when, I was tilted so bad. Yeah, that I, was I was just about to say these are the actions of a person on tilt. I am not Jet Li right now. <laughs> <laughs> there's no water. There's no such thing. Holy shit! This was a sad game to watch, to be honest <laughs> with you. Oh, it was a sad game. Are you to gonna play. Are you gonna lose me as a as a student, dude? No, I mean, the, I, I'm ashamed that you actually did these plays after being my no. student. Well, you know what? People are gonna be able to watch these YouTube videos, and they're gonna watch it like three months from now. And they're gonna be like, "Damn, we're gonna go to we're gonna I, go to." Tiny still like you guys still managed to get the racks, a team wipe, and Tiny's no. got rapier. It's not too bad. Like it's not. Uh, it's not over, just just get back maybe. No, no, get no. back. Tiny got damn tiny. Oh my god. I know the rapier switched hands like three times, I think, or something. Four. Oh, something like that. Know. I think it's two this will be third right now, I think. <laughs> or fourth. So, Axe had the free slot and he doesn't pick rapier up. And he lets Slardar pick it up. because of which he dies. Oh my god. Dude the alt salt oh my god. Okay. I think I'm done here. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I, I still want to see. I, I should not be watching other people playing, actually, because they're obviously not that good. <laughs> they're quite bad. What? Like, what even that time you had opportunities there, uh, even the axe had the opportunity. Now, obviously, you threw the game, for sure. Uh, yeah. But the axe had the opportunity at the end to, to win it. Uh, Tiny had the opportunity to win it. And nobody, nobody took it. And uh, it's always a team, team effort. Like this is CM, yeah. CM could Sorry. have also had better vision on the map. Um, so it's it's a team, team effort. But yeah, your it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's ninety nine percent my fault. It's definitely biggest fault was your fault. Like if uh, all four people played thirty five percent better, all four of them, then maybe we would have won. But I, with them playing the same, it was 99% my fault. Like, like, you could have, I know you have lots of gold and you'd have nothing, no items else, else to buy. You could have bought, like, tons of uh, observers and a gem for CM. Oh. I do buy a gem in this game. We already passed that point, though, I think. Or maybe I didn't yet. So now you've actually gone, brought the game down to dead even almost. Uh, and then this team fight is probably the last team fight. Let's see. Yeah. And. Uh, again, you are playing aggressively. You're going in the front. Uh, why, like, just just swap out the Sane and Yasha for maybe another Daedalus, an MKB, uh, oh, well, anything I've else? Like, heroes where you get two Daedalus is like, uh, you know, like the heroes. So right that. here, you as I said, you're playing too aggressively. It's 60 minutes into the game. You do not want to be by yourself or in vision vision of the enemy team, and you do manage to get like shackled and, you know gone on and that was a good attempt to escape but not gonna happen and now you you 140 damage has been leashed off of you you do not have all you do not have satanic and you die and now your whole team is gonna die again this this movement again was your fault because you allowed them to go on you instead right, of I was that, that should, yeah that should have been an axe that should have been a tiny 
that could have been even a CM. CM could have been bait like that, but you baited for your team. You were the bait for your team, and they don't do damage. You do. Look at the net worth. You you are. You remember Tiny? Look at the way Tiny is. Tiny is bottom three now. Hmm. So at this point, anybody should have been bait, or your whole team could have been bait, even. Uh, but you should not have been in vision. You should have been way behind them. Wow, they're almost double our net worth. Yeah, yeah. Hey, a question. Now you can't yeah. even. Now you can't even like kill them quickly. So now it's over. Now it's guaranteed over. Now there's no chance because you have no damage. What's that, Marie? Oh no, I was gonna ask. Uh, see, you have a lot of um, net worth. But that is because you had forty minutes of the jungle just for yourself. But how do you balance that with the other care? Like, you usually have like a semi carry or something. Because the other one got left behind pretty bad because nobody could find farm in that. Yeah, this map. is what I told him that uh, you pick Sven when you're gonna have a lot of space. Sven needs a lot of space, and this is what space means. Like, Sven takes up one entire lane and the entire jungle. So, what's left is for the offlaner, his lane and his, um, like, actually, sorry, let me repeat that. Sven takes up his whole lane, the whole jungle, and the ancient stacks. Uh, which usually there's usually an offlaner who can take that or somebody else, but Sven so takes that as well. Gener so what generally, un unless the farm's gonna go to unless it's gonna go to waste, I don't take mid or 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 no. offlane um, no. lane farm definitely unless not. I mean after even after laning stage is over. Yeah, All right. definitely. Oh. Because you got okay. you I, have I, I to was, leave. I'm glad you asked that, Marie, because I'm under the impression usually that like if you're a big fat carry like me. Because I scale more than probably any other hero in the game, that I'm taking anything and everything that I want to find. No, that's also why so, at the beginning I said that CM should be in the jungle, uh, taking as much farm as she possibly can in the early right. levels, because all CM needs is a Tranquil Boots, and by five minutes in, CM will get Tranquil Boots, and by another, like, ten minutes, maybe, she will get a Midas, which you 